Hey guys, it's Austin back with another YouTube video today. This has been very delayed because first off, I wanna say the weather has been horrible at my house lately. So that's the reason why you're getting this day view so late. Cause I mean, comparatively, I'd have had it out way earlier than what I did. But due to inclement weather, I have decided that I have to just wait till today. Yesterday, everything was wet and I had to clean a lot of the mud off of them where the rain had came. And so far, unfortunately, it looks like Halloween night ain't going to be that much better. And next week being the week of Halloween, it's going to, the weather's looking pretty darn nasty so far. So, all that I can say is I hope that you guys can pray that Halloween night will not just be a washout. And there won't be a bunch of rain and everything keeping me from blowing these things up. Because if that happens, then I probably am going to risk it and blow them up. But I'm not going to blow up the Fazbear Band because of cheap motors and cheap parts so i don't want to destroy the fab the fazbear band but uh, let's get on to the day view as always starting off with the witch she's dancing as well as ever and i really really like her the kaleidoscope is currently off because it's daytime and I kind of like her better in the daytime because the kaleidoscope's like the only thing lighting her head and upper body up because last year as i said the bulbs fell down in her bottom and we tried fixing that issue this year but to no avail when we did she would literally not blow up her entire head would just sag down to her body so i just had to completely just leave her lights down in her bottom and just shine the kaleidoscope on her which i think the kaleidoscope is actually better when you think about it because like then i have like another special effect on the witch the wall and then of course with my two big short circuiters ain't short circuiting it turns them green so i think of that is pretty cool but anyway that's her there we go the 2018 short circuit ghost house from lowe's still doing pretty good it sustained a lot of dirt under the tree where there's been like leaves falling on it and definitely as anybody knows who collects inflatables when the ground gets like dried up and dead and it rains on it the ground's going to get muddy so generally you'll have some of that hold on a second uh, never mind i thought my uh phantasm pumpkin reaper had a fold down in the middle of them and if i was getting like my pumpkin scrooge that i end up having to scar i end up having to discard because of the because of the the center part of him messing up but in fact that's not the case thank goodness but there's a short circuit ghost house nothing really too much to it in the day it can't really see the short circuit effects going off and that's it pretty much and finally my first day view with my uh i think it's like a 2018 phantasm pumpkin reaper you can barely see it's light in its head and the fold i was talking about was like right there in the midsection i think it might be folding a bit but i think that's a lot from the tether cords I can't really tell personally, but let me see. I don't think it's folding. I think it's just the way it's stitched. But anyways, that's what he looks like during the daytime. I definitely prefer him at nighttime and his uh, Phantasm is probably one of my favorite kaleidoscopes I think I've got in my display currently. So I definitely like that. Addition to the display is that I got me another functioning kaleidoscope and Got my fur 12 footer in my Halloween display, which is also a very, very big deal to me. I've always wanted to have three 12 footers in a display. If I can never manage it, I'd like to get a 16 footer eventually, but I don't think that there's been any stores this year selling any 16 foot Halloween models, but correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not for sure. And there's the old Good Goof Pants Pirate Ship. It's still not doing great, but I think Snoopy's not blowing up too well because the wind's blowing him over and pretty much since day one Snoopy has not been like known to blow up that strong because I've seen some other people that have this in their displays and I think that Snoopy has always been kind of like a weak part of it and Charlie Brown of course is get is rocking back and forth with the oars still but he's like 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 hinged over on the side of it and I think it it looks okay from the road, but like standing up like up close to it, it ain't that good. But of course, like I said, the wind is also blowing, so that's also causing them to kind of be all discombobulated and screwed up. But it's been windy every day, so eventually you just gotta get past the wind and then like shoot a day view of it. But that's the Good Grief Peanut Pirate Ship. There's the 2015 Kaleidoscope Fire Knife Spider from Walmart. 
is definitely more dirty in a day view. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't we want it to be too noticeable. But there's a lot of dirt on its back, but at night it really covers it up good because the only thing you see is the kaleidoscope really at night. But during the daytime, if you keep like a really good eye about yourself, you'll see that it's got some dirt on it. But I still love the thing. It's definitely one of my more favorite models because it's what started my love of special light effects as usual. And it's still a very good staple on the display. I have no plans of getting rid of it anytime soon. There's my uh, favorite, the 2017 Lowe's Inflatable Dragon. Still doing pretty good. It, like the others, has gotten some mud from under the tree and the leaves falling on it. It's just usual whenever they get out here and it rains and leaves fall and everything, it tends to crumble up and then the mud will eventually come. And then plus a limb fell out of my tree, as you can see right here. And it got some of the... Uh, wood chips all over it from where the limb cracked and busted so it's got some wood chips on it but i got out here with like some wet wipes and napkins last night and cleaned it off as best as i could and i think it still's pretty good the animation is doing perfect the light effects are doing perfect it's still in my opinion still pretty darn good well not not to be mentally brand new condition it's still really good Hey, let's get up here. The wind's blowing really bad. The Fazbear band is getting tattered around, especially Bonnie. Chica's like the only one that's even stationary because I think she's like wedged up here next to the archway where that dragon claw is holding her up. And plus she's kind of behind the house, so it ain't like hitting her that bad. But as you can see, Freddie and Bonnie, they're getting ready to lose their footing. I still don't know if that's going to help too much, but Freddie is very, very... The wind is absolutely just tattering these things around today and I don't know what the, the whole deal is, but let me try to fix them. Golly, if I've never told you guys the process of how I do the Fazbear band, what I do is due to the fact that motors are very cheaply made, I take them inside my basement at night and lay them in the floor and then I have to like ultimately just reassemble them every day. It's a pain, but I want to do it because I absolutely fell in love with these things when I first saw them on the internet. Bonnie's tether cord, I think. Well, not tether cord, but Bonnie's uh, staking screwed all the way up. So he's not standing correct as it is. Hold on. He's kind of doing okay now, but he still ain't the greatest. I have a feeling the big dust is going to come here in a minute and blow him over, but I'll fix him here in a while after I'm done with the video. And here's the 2015 multicolored ghost from Lowe's. His tether cord's sagging a bit too. I don't know what's wrong with it. That tether used to be pretty strong on the side, but for some reason it's gotten a bit weak. I don't know why either, but it might just be the wind today, but I have no clue. <laughs> the wind has been a total, you know what, past few weeks, as you heard me say earlier in the video, but he's still holding up pretty good. I definitely think there's a lot more to him at night than there is during the day. In the day, there really ain't too much to him. Like I said, I really like the display better at night versus the daytime. But this one still, it does great in the day because it's, for one, it's headlights still blown out as usual. But the head turning cat shows up great during the day. So this is why I don't mind having up during the day. It's doing great still and in good condition. And I'm just overall happy with how it's aged and everything. It's, I think this is like its third year in the display because I got it back in 2016. But it's, I think it's like a 2013 model. At least I'm pretty sure it is, but it's still doing pretty good. I think it still looks partially good at night, but I still need to replace its headlight, though. I don't know if I'll get that done before Halloween or not. There's the 12-foot-tall short-circuit Blacklight Reaper. He's still hanging on pretty good. Yeah, like I said, these short circuits definitely shine more at night versus in the daytime. In the daytime, they're pretty cool still, but... The night is the thing that really does these things justice, but I still like having the 12 footers all blown up during the daytime because you get like a real emphasis on how tall they are, especially during the daytime too, more so than you do at the nighttime hours.
and here's my uh second new my first new for 2019 the 2018 short circuit ghost tree from lowe's it's still holding up pretty good too uh it's definitely been roughed around with the wind by the uh, roughed around by the wind like the other ones for sure as you can see it right now it's moving and the one tether cord over on the side ain't strong i'm gonna probably have to restake a lot of them here in a while if the wind don't stop because the wind's been ultimate has been really mad all day honest to goodness and here comes like a big gust of wind and i'm afraid the one's gonna blow over here in a minute my fear is but i'm hoping and praying that none of them do but yeah the wind hates me i got that as my motto anymore well that's the let me oh let me get you a zoomed view real quick well that's the 2019 halloween display in the daytime for you guys i'm gonna try to get a post out on halloween night as i have in the past few years as normal but right now i just gotta play it by ear and see how the weather goes but i'm hoping and praying that the weather goes my way but until then comment like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys later